Stamping is a great thing to do for favors because you can make multiples of them. So a nice touch is to have a custom stamp and we're gonna create our own. And the way you do that is first print your graphic. I chose a cute little anchor and we're gonna be transferring that to a block, which is what we're gonna carve the stamp out of. So the first thing to do to transfer it is to color your design completely with a regular pencil, making sure you get the entire design. And then to transfer it, we're gonna lay it face down onto the block and color over it, pressing hard. And the lead is actually gonna transfer to the other side. Once you've colored over the entire back of your image, it's transferred, but to make sure that you can really see it, we're just gonna go over it with Sharpie. So I'm just gonna go in here and go right over my design, just so that it's very clear and all the edges are crisp. Because once I start carving, you can't go back, so. There. Now it's nice and crisp. And now, once the design is transferred, we're gonna start carving. So we're gonna be using a speedball linoleum cutter and it comes with a bunch of different tips. This is the finest tip. And we're gonna do with this is create an outline around our design that we will then cut all the rest out. So you wanna keep your black of the design. So we'll go all the way around, nice and finely. This is just basically giving you a protective border around your design so that when you're gouging it out, you're, you're not going accidentally into your design. It's a, a barrier between the design and the rest. So cut that out, clean it off. So then you can switch your tip once you have that valley cut out to a bigger tip. And these are really easy to change out and you can also actually store your tips in the back, which is convenient so you don't lose them. And then with the, this bigger tip, we're gonna then just take chunks out on the side. So we're creating an embossed graphic that will turn into the stamp. So once you get all of that extra out. And once you've cleaned up all around the anchor, you're ready to print. So now that my custom stamp is all cut out, I've prepared muslin bags that I'm gonna use for little party favors. And I've put a piece of paper in between so that when I stamp on the bag, it's not gonna go through to the other side. So what I'm gonna do is just take my stamp with some red ink, dab it right onto the ink pad until it's completely covered and then holding it, centering it in the middle of the bag. I'm gonna just press it down and lift it up. And then what I'm gonna to add to that is a little message. And what I have here is a stamp mount that has um, acrylic letters. So you can change your message to whatever you want. Mine's gonna say shipmates forever. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this stamp, ink it position it on my bag, and stamp. So then you have a cute little bag that you can fill with some nice treats.